So, Bottles is basically a front end for wine, and what makes it special from the rest wine front ends, is Bottles superpower to easily create many bottles with different runtimes and configurations. For example here we have a Windows 10 bottle, but we can easily create one more for running applications in a slightly different environment. In most usual cases one should be enough, so let's keep the one we have, and let's do this! Oh, and before start asking things nobody isn't gonna answer on YouTube, you better check on Bottles documentation. And if you run into inglorious troubles, it's not a shame to open an issue on GitHub. Now, let's set this bottle up, but I'm warning you I'm quite useless at that. The first thing I'm doing is to go on dependencies, and install all of them. Cause obviously I don't have idea what I need. It only takes a click, but my bottle size is 15 gigabytes. Next I'm going to preferences, and on system components we want to set the Proton Runner. But first we need to download it. And just make sure you always have the latest that theoretically offers the best compatibility with games titles. So at the time that's Proton 7.14. Now we have that, we need to go back and set it as a default runner. Another thing to worry about is those two DLLs, that translate DirectX system calls to Vulkan, and can fail the bottles with NVIDIA drivers. So I keep these off, and perhaps you should play a bit with the option to see what works best. Almost done, and the last step is to put the Steam games on programs for faster launching. About the games themselves? I have a letter to write, but let's first make sure if they work. All great, and so you can buy the titles if you want, but I wouldn't suggest it and I have my personal reasons. <laughs>